Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Tee It Up Grand Strand. I'm your host, Shan Coughlin, here with this edition of Play Crow Creek Golf with Mr. Jimmy Biggs. Hey, Shan. How are you doing? I'm doing great. This is awesome. This is awesome. I see you're rocking the Nike Vault again today. Of course today. I am. Of course I am. I, I couldn't, I can't, I, to the point now where I can't walk into the building without someone telling me something about Nike Vault. So I'm like expected to have it. I'm the Vault Ambassador now. There you go. Yeah. Maybe we'll, it's a new title, Nike. I expect my check tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Let me know when that comes. Direct deposit. Hey, speaking of money and checks, we were just having an interesting conversation. And before we get to the golf stuff, I mm-hmm. just want to ask you, um, do you have anything interesting you keep in your golf bag? Anything interesting. Okay, yeah. something that I keep in my golf bag. I yeah. don't carry uh, a whole lot of cash with me, but I am superstitious, ex-baseball mm-hmm. player. Mm. There's a uh, there's a half dollar that I got. Um, my grandfather gave me a, like a coin collection when he, when he passed away, so that was right. one of the things I got, and there was a half dollar in there. I always carry it in my bag. I don't ca- carry it with me, but it's always in my bag. Okay. And I remember the one time I didn't have it with me, I shot one of the highest numbers I've <laughs> shot in a long time. So I always have it on my bag. Got it. Now, do you use it as a marker or anything, or it's just in the bag? No, it's just in the bag. So is it in a, not that we're going digging or anything, yeah, yeah. but is it in a special place? Like it's no, in a different no, pocket? No, it's just in there with the rest of the quarters and, and ball markers and, and stuff okay. like that. But it's always in the bag. If it's All not right. in the bag, I'll know about it because I'll usually have a very large number. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking about what people keep in their bags. I always keep a little bit of money for mm-hmm. like a soda or beer or something on the course. And then when I get low, I replenish. But um, yeah, we were, some people keep their winnings in their golf bag. Yeah, you were, uh, what that's, did you that's say? That's a little the, rough. The chapstick, uh, that was an interesting little hiding spot there. Yeah, it, an empty chapstick. Empty um, chapstick. So um, yeah, we'll we'll be interested to see what everyone else keeps on there. Jeff, you keep anything in your bag there? Anything crazy? Not, not anything that I can say on the air. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. keep that. But uh, when I was in at the liquor store the other day, um, stocking up for the house, I did notice that they're still selling the mini bottles. And I asked, oh, I yeah. said, I didn't think they actually sold those since we transitioned here in South Carolina. Uh, we, we were a mini bottle state for a long time. But sure. once we transitioned and they're like, oh, yeah, the golfers love them. Love them. I was like, we wow. find them all the time on the golf course. You know, people just get <clears throat> sleeves, throw them in their bag. It's a little easier to carry around than a big bottle. Uh, you yes. Just get a sleeve of tan or something in there, and you're you're good to go. You get a couple of cokes and fireball minis are great, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My beverage cart sales just went down twenty percent right after I said that. Yeah. Too. Well, that's what I was thinking because you know, growing up working at a golf course, my husband's a golf pro. You know, that's like taboo. Like, oh yeah. That's the thing you do not just do. Just don't do is, that. Is take your own stuff to the yeah. golf i mean i realize some allow that but most of them don't yeah. and uh plus you want to support you know the the golf courses but um yeah it just surprised me i don't know why yeah yeah that's okay i, I i'm not going to say i haven't had that in my golf bag before <laughs> uh but uh I, I i made sure i purchased it from the golf course oh well, well yeah. that's fair so Oops, you know I just, I, the thing. I just keep some some supplies all right so for those who tuned in for a golf show <laughs> yeah um, <laughs> we'll start talking about golf now um, What's going on in Crow Creek? Well, first, let me ask you this: How we're in spring golf season? This is our um, April update. So let's talk about course conditions. Uh, course is perfect. Okay. Um, actually, I was out there early this morning. I have a, an event this weekend. The member guest. Right? Member guest this week. Our men's member guest or men's invitational. And uh, I was out there painting the course at six o'clock this morning, so, so I could beat the golfers out <laughs> there uh, and get everything done. But uh, as I was out there, I, they were they had top dressed the greens last night, and they were rolling them this morning. Mm. Um, and I went out there and rolled one putt on number nine, and they are they are. As good as they're going to get right now. It's the best time of year, end of the end of, the, end of April. Actually, really, Augusta weekend is the best time. But right. uh, uh, they're now, every two, three weeks at Crow Creek, we try to top dress them, roll them, you know, double cut them, and really make them slick for the weekend. Nice. What did Bob Sagani say? As long as the greens are um, smooth, fast, and receptive. Exactly. Those but it's got to be all three. Yeah. It's got to be all three. three. If, it's, if it's just two or the three, eh. And if it's not one or the other or too much of the other, then right. it can be... Uh, disastrous but um yeah it's uh it's in great shape uh fairways are uh the rye grass is completely full it's like hitting off carpet nice um you know the rough is starting to come out of dormancy now so it's getting a little color into it mm-hmm. uh, obviously the sand you know we yep. wouldn't want to be a crow creek show unless we talked about the I sand <laughs> um and uh yeah everything looks just fantastic it's uh it's really 
excellent condition today. It's beautiful out. Sun's outside. Oh, it is. 75 degrees. And um, it's been even a little cool this spring for us, which is great for bent grass greens. Fantastic. So we're very pleased. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. And um, I was going to just mention you are one of the only ones, only courses down here with b- the bent grass. So mm-hmm. allows uh, those folks from the north who love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That and type of grass to play. A lot of compliments on it, actually, so far um, so far this year on, on the greens. Uh, uh, I think everyone's, uh, not that anyone has bad greens, just everyone's really impressed with our greens so mm-hmm. far this spring. And, and again, and we can attest that to the, the cooler weather. Uh, not cold, just cooler, which yeah. is uh, which is we have a cool season grass with rye grass and bent grass, and yeah. it's it's working out great for us. Yeah, highs in the seventies, lows have been in the fifties. Mm-hmm. The yeah. evenings have been perfect. I mean, yes. just gorgeous, not too hot. The um, greens out at Crow Creek, I will say, are receptive because they are huge. You can be mm-hmm. ten yards right or left and still be on the green. It's still be good, <laughs> and even if you're off, it's a it's 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 usually a a, a closely mown. Uh, fairway area okay. so you can really get a good chip on it and right. and normally that would scare me but with my new putter I'm, I'm pretty excited to come out there and try it out exactly you can putt it from 40 yeah. yards off the green Shane Absolutely. you're good to go I'm good to go yeah there's new weight that that whole waiting system I'm getting used to but that's pretty ah, cool that's I'm right you got the waiting system now all right so course conditions are fantastic spring yes. golf do you have any tee times left though that is one issue at crow creek that, that we're ha- running into that has been an issue um you know the, the best thing i can say if you want a tee time at crow creek uh, uh during this during the springtime is you need to pre-book it almost a year in advance if yep. you want to get the time you want uh right. call dave just call dave yep. hashtag just call dave uh book it book it in advance and that's your that's your best shot otherwise um you need uh, you're going to be going out early in the morning or late in the afternoon right. and they just fill up so fast same with the fall the fall is really starting to book in we're getting Absolutely. those calls and mm-hmm. um again book early folks the the tides have changed um, all of all the training that we did teaching you to and I say we as in a, an industry as a whole teaching you to wait to the last minute that has changed um, t-sheets are filling up um, it, which is great to see mm-hmm. um, but I do hate it when people get a little upset when they can't play where they want or when they want because of that situation so definitely plan early and you'll have the best shot at getting out there now let's talk a little bit about some of the events you have going on because you do have a nice member base out there and we, we would be remiss if we didn't give them a little love and attention so you've got your men's member guests coming up in the next month you have a few events for them right we have a few events yeah we just um, uh, we just actually finished up with our ladies member guests uh, uh, last week mm-hmm. uh, and they had a great time they had beautiful weather um, they actually did a, something really cool that I hadn't seen before and I want to give a shout out to my Crow Creek ladies because they did a fantastic job but the uh, the guests you know they do everyone does a little tea gift you know like a bag of teas or, mm-hmm. or a, a, a whatever a little knickknack give <clears throat> tool or something but they for this year for the guests what they did they do a theme every year and this year's theme was um, wine and roses oh Okay, so the uh, the centerpieces when they got done, they had they had a massive salad bar, and I say salad bar, it was like a salad battleship. There was <laughs> so much lettuce and stuff that goes on salads. I'm not a salad guy. Uh, I'm Lots more, of toppings. I'm a meat and potatoes guy, so oh. salad it just baffled me. But I'd never seen so much. Uh, 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 stuff they did an ice cream bar but uh, the centerpieces of all the tables were these wine bottles with roses in them and every guest g- uh, got to leave with a brand a huge massive rose nice. which i thought was kind of a neat gift That's you know cool. a little C- crow creek rose uh so that th- that was kind of a neat thing for the ladies but anyway we finished with the ladies we got the men this weekend uh they're playing saturday and sunday they'll be doing the practice rounds well right now they're playing mm-hmm. them now and, and friday and then uh, at the end of the month, we've got uh, we've got our uh, Memorial Day shotgun. We get nice. everyone will be out there in the red, white, and blue stuff, and, and nice. big uh, big contest against the men and the ladies, and then a big barbecue after that. And sounds like fun. Yes, yes. They're, like they're a very fun. active group over there at Crow Creek. Yes, well, and um, for members and even for non-members, y'all have that great patio out back to sit and Absolutely. watch. Absolutely. And like we said, the weather's perfect right now for mm-hmm. all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, very good. So what about in the pro shop? You are rocking the Nike Volt. Has, has everything come in that you ordered at the Everything show? has come in and gone at this oh point. My like we're, I'm, already? I'm already reordering stuff to, to okay. replace it. We had a very good spring in the pro shop. Uh, everything went was very well received. Um, and I literally mean everything because i'm just about out of everything right now i'm filling wow. it in as we go so unless you're a, a, a schmedium or a 
uh, quadruple extra large. <laughs> uh, I don't have a size for you right now. I apologize. <laughs> now we, uh, we we've done very well. Uh, uh, particularly um, a shout out to, to Nike, who's done uh, done a lot of work in our pro shop. Mm-hmm. So and uh, and and uh, a head, uh, Mr. Bender has uh, has filled in quite nicely in our in our shop this year. He got a spot in there. He got a spot in the Crow Creek shop this year. Wow. He's done very well. So uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Virginia, for uh, and Mr. Brooks for taking care of us on that. Well, I tell you, it's always been uh, one of the larger pro, uh, golf shops, and y'all do keep it stocked very nicely. So I know that when people walk in now, they would be a little surprised. So I'm we'll not get, used to having an empty shop. Yes, I'll say, I'll tell yes. you that I'm not used to be, having. I, and it's, it's very okay colorful. Be, yes, it's it's it it was it was it was lacking a little color about a week ago. So I was uh, mm-hmm. I was a little uh, stressed out about it, but everything's good now. Everything's. Uh, We've been filling back in uh, very slowly, so we're getting so order, ready for the summertime. Orders are coming in. Orders are coming in, and uh, we'll have a full uh, full slate here in about a week. So Mother's Day is coming up. Yes. And I know y'all always do some very nice things for Mother's Day. And you were telling me, and I think this was so cool, that y'all have a huge brunch business. Huge. Every, uh, especially Sundays. Sundays, uh, right at, you know, as soon as church gets out, um, uh, pretty much nine to 11 o'clock, it's, we're a regular waffle house. I mean, we are slammed <laughs> just without the drunks and the throw up, but, uh, it's, uh, it's a regular, uh, uh breakfast crowd. Yeah, and, well, uh, I, and I think a lot of people think of, of golf courses as just that a place to get like a sandwich golf or and a snack bar, right. quick, a quick something, but the restaurant there is fantastic. Well, we, we've been kind of known for the, the breakfast, um, mm-hmm. you know, That's, and yeah. we have a lot of condos there at Crow Creek and, and a lot of the people that stay uh, on golf packages mm-hmm. will actually eat breakfast there every morning before they go to the other golf courses because right. it's, it's, you know, Crow Creek is, it is in North Carolina, but it's only on the state line. Right. So, you know, if they're going to the south end to the north end, they you know, it's a 30 minute drive tops yeah. either direction so it's easy for them just to pop in grab breakfast and go and it's a great breakfast it's a uh, very reasonable price and you get a lot you get more food than you can usually eat yeah. um I, I firsthand i had a breakfast wrap uh before i came up here and uh-huh. uh and i had to take a nap in your office before i came on <laughs> well and you can find that full menu on your brand new website yes it is crow creek uh, golf.com crow, yeah. crow creek golf dot com well as always there's a lot going on up at crow creek and so we want to let everyone know how to um, book those tea times you can do it um, on the website folks you can do it by calling direct or you can ask your package provider uh, to include it on that great pga4 pga5 program Mm -hmm. that east coast management has i still can't believe it if you book four of their courses including crow creek um, you get that 100 hundred dollar gift card Absolutely, you can use it on anything in the pro shop or the uh, or the restaurant. You can use it on golf if right. uh, if you have an extra day or an extra afternoon, or maybe you want to do a replay. You can use the uh, mm-hmm. the gift card for that, and um, yeah, it's been been great so far. And if you put in an extra round and book five courses, you actually get a hundred and fifty dollar gift card. And you know, with Mother's Day coming up, wouldn't be bad to take back a little gift item for uh, smart smart men to be the ones who, who yep. bring back something for the missus yes mistress girlfriend whatever <laughs> whatever you got <laughs> maybe cover all three <laughs> um, yeah then you need the five to get the 150 then you need the <laughs> five or spend it on a condo because you're never coming home or something. oh something um but yeah do that and uh, of course we would love to help you out here at the golf director jimmy also mentioned um they have condos you can stay right up there and that works out really well too um, just call dave just call dave yeah what have we forgotten uh or what have we, we forgotten well we, we mentioned mother's day we want yep. we want to take care of mom so yes. we'll come out and keep, play golf with the mom keep an eye out on your uh on your platinum emails for the uh for those of us who have a yes. platinum membership we'll have a, a special going out probably right. the end of today uh for a little something special for mom so if you haven't done anything yet don't worry go get a card right now and then check out your Platinum email this afternoon, and we'll have a special up for you. Yeah, PlatinumGolfMembership.com. Frank, mm-hmm. I hope you're listening. <laughs> um, Go get a card right now, yeah. Frank. <laughs> yeah, I think we have one. But but having the card and actually acting on it, we found are two uh, different things. So uh, uh, the boys have got – the boys took me actually shopping last night. I was surprised. They wanted to go to the mall. And then I realized we were in one of my favorite stores, and they were asking me questions like, well, what do you think about this? And 
what do you think about this? And I was like, wow. Ooh, I know where at, this is going. 12, Let's go over to Zales. At 12 and 14, they were getting smart. And I should have taken them to Zales. <laughs> I didn't think about <laughs> that. Next time. Next, next time. time. Well, Jimmy, thank you so much for coming in. We look forward to your update next month mm-hmm. in May. But until then, uh, we will check out your website, crowcreekgolf.com, and keep that information coming. Thanks for having me, Shannon. Appreciate right. it. This edition of Tee It Up Grand Strand has been produced and broadcast by the Zeus Radio Network for thegolfdirector.com. When visiting thegolfdirector.com, be sure to check out our featured golf course pages, including the one for Crow Creek, where you'll find up-to-date information about their course conditions, specials, and much more. If you need help with your next golf vacation or booking tee times, hashtag just call Dave if you like to tweet or pick up a real phone and call us at 844-GO-GOLF-1. That's 844 464 Three, one. All of our programming is archived for listening and viewing on demand. So to catch up on a show you might have missed, click on the TGD radio and TGD TV tabs in the menu at thegolfdirector.com. We're now available on over 1 billion devices through iTunes, Audio Realm, TuneIn, YouTube, Ustream, Roku, Blueberry, and on the Myrtle Beach Golf app. Just download it. Click on the radio spot. This is your host, Shan Coughlin, and on behalf of my special guest today, Mr. Jimmy Biggs from Crow Creek golf course and jeff behind the glass we appreciate you for tuning in there's more tgd golf news and information coming up next so don't go anywhere all right i mean